and welcome to Dort Walk. For the past five years, Dort has been number one in student engagement. We thought we'd take it up a notch and make Dort number one in student engagement. Watch out, Brigham Young, we're coming for you. I'm your host, Nikki Ascott, and this is Dort Walk. This season's bachelor comes to us from Watsonville, California. He was recommended to us by a couple of friends, and as soon as we met him, we knew he'd make a very interesting bachelor. And so, without further ado, introducing for the very first time, Jake Statham. Hi, my name is Jake. I'm a business major. I also play basketball. I've played basketball my entire life, and I've always like wanted to be a professional basketball player. But I figured I should expand my skill set so I can get a real job in case it doesn't work out. So yeah, now that I'm 19, I think I'm ready to settle down and meet my soulmate. Freshman frenzy didn't work out for me, but I'm hopeful about the outcome of the show. I mean, why else would I come to Dort? All right, Bachelor, now that we've met you, it's time for you to meet your lucky ladies. I wish you the best of luck. All right, thank you. Hey, how's it going? It's going pretty good. It's nice to be here. Oh, I'm sorry. I am saving myself for marriage. But um, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. All right, I can't wait to get to know you a little more. I play volleyball and sing in the choir. Jake seems like the perfect guy for me, and I can't wait to get to know him. This is, I know this is all part of God's will, and I'm probably going to end up marrying him, so yeah. Hello, hello, hello. How is my favorite bachelor doing? Pretty good overall. How's Rebecca doing? Oh, so, so, so good. You, like, don't even know. I'm a music major from Cleveland, Ohio. I play piano, guitar, uh, clarinet, triangle. Oh, and I've been learning the cello. I write my own songs. I've been putting them on the internet for a while now. I haven't been published yet, but it'll happen. If Jake doesn't like my music, that'll be a really big deal breaker for me. I mean, it's the thing I'm most passionate about. It's not a hobby. It's a lifestyle. Hello, and who might you be? Hi, I'm Crystal, but you can call me Crystal. It really doesn't matter either way. Hi, I'm Crystal. It's Crystal with a K, but my friends call me Crystal with a C. I don't really have a preference. Right now I'm majoring in psych, but I might switch to nursing or education or communications. I'm not really sure. What I'd like to do in my free time is make little wood carvings. I usually do animals, but I'll carve anything as long as you pay me for it. Here, I made you this desk block with my drill press. Oh, um, thanks. It's very nice. And I really like researching people. Now, I wouldn't call it stalking, but I definitely looked up Jake on u.dort, Instagram, and Facebook. Google didn't really come up with much, but his dogs are so cute. Oh, and you must be Geneva. I've heard all about you from my accounting professor. Is that your mom? Oh, she told you about it? I asked her not to say anything. That's so unexpected and surprising. I didn't really want to go to college, but my mom works in the business office, so it's basically free for me to be here. Uh, yeah, as soon as my mom heard about the show, she made me sign up. But don't get me wrong, look, I'm glad to be here. I really do want to get married, and I think Dort's the best way for me to make that happen. Overall, the girls seem pretty chill. Crystal? Crystal, she seemed a bit weird. I mean, why'd she say her name twice? And what's with the wood carving? What am I supposed to do with this? I'm not too sure about the Rebecca chick either. She seemed a little too excited. I think she might be a stalker. So, these are your leading ladies. Any first impressions? Yeah, overall, I didn't see any of them being completely atrocious, so that's great. Um, any of them stick out in, in a good way? Um, I'm not too sure yet. All right, well, we do have the first impression rose ceremony coming up soon, so you need to be thinking about which girl you'd like to see back next week. We'll have a word from our sponsors, and we'll be back inside the mansion. So, how did you hear about the dorm? 
Bachelor. Oh, one of my friends is making me do it. I guess she thought I was like lonely or something, or she didn't want to be around me. I don't really understand though. I basically never talk. I'm pretty much as quiet as a mouse. I mean, I only ever barge in on her and her boyfriend when they're doing something important. I mean, not important? I think I said that wrong. But anyway, I don't understand why she wouldn't want me around. I mean, we're definitely best friends. I'm gonna ask my parents if we can adopt her into my family. I mean, I understand we can't do that like legally because she's 18, but like ceremoniously, you know? I just think it would be really good for her since our home life isn't good, you know? Just really good for her and for me but for for her I mean wait what were we talking about oh uh yeah so I'm not here against my will but I definitely was forced into it if you know what I mean but how about you I'm here because of the Lord's will I felt the spirit calling me and it led me to the car that drove me here and I really feel like it's the Lord's will and that I'm gonna end up with Jake in the end and that God is gonna provide for me in that way Hey chicas, what are we talking about? Oh, nothing, just the fact that this is the Lord's will for me and that I'm gonna end up with my arm in Jake's and I don't know what either of you can really do about it because it's the Lord's will. That's interesting because his last seven girlfriends have been struggling against trucks, cows, and boots. And I don't think you exactly fit his type. Sorry. It's not my choice, I'm here for a reason. <laughs> Maybe that's entertainment value? I mean, it'll probably be pretty embarrassing when you lose, but what kind of scene are you going to make? Uh, sad, angry, rage? I mean, I feel like that's too popular on the live television world. What do you think? Is she a crier or a yeller? Rebecca Graff, you are possessed by the devil. You do not have the Lord on your side, and you are not going to win. Oh, I'm on her private story on Snapchat, and she's definitely a crier. It is not pretty. Very entertaining, though. <laughs> Oh, I thought there were going to be two other girls, so I thought I was the last one. Oh, Luann left already. She'll be back soon, though. Oh, any reason why? Probably took a second to pray for my soul. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we've met yet. I'm Rebecca. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Geneva. Likewise. All right, ladies, now it's t Wait, where's, where's Luann? I'm back. I'm sorry, guys. Just had to send up a quick prayer to my daddy in the sky. Okay, uh, well... It's almost time for the first row ceremony, so if you guys want to freshen up your faces or powder your noses, now's the time. Otherwise, I hope you're ready. Good luck. All right, folks, we're here live, the very first row ceremony of this season of Door Walk. Jake, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty confident. I definitely know who I don't want around anymore. Well, that's, that's good, I guess. Uh, kind of a weird way to put it, but whatever floats your boat. I wish you the best of luck. All right, thank you. Rebecca, do you want this rose? Of course. Geneva. Your mom kind of scares me, so do you accept this, Rose? Absolutely. All right, Jake, this is the final rose. Feel free to take your time. There is no rush. And that leaves you two, Luann and Crystal. Luann, you're very sweet, and I admire your commitment to the Lord. Well, he is what brought me here. However, Crystal, I feel like you know where I live, and I think that if I don't give you one round, you're going to murder me or my parents, and that scares me. Yeah, I might do that. Keeping that in mind, Crystal, do you accept this rose? Oh, Jake, you know I will. Alright, uh, unfortunately, Luann, you've been sent home. Take a moment to say your goodbyes, and then we'll escort you to the limo. Am I disappointed? Yeah, of course. I thought Jesus loved me. Am I going to have to dye my hair black and join a cult? Probably. But these things just happen. The biggest thing I learned from this is that God doesn't exist. I hope the other girls have a great time here, and I hope to see you all on campus. Hurricanes and gales, mountains.
mountains made of ice, our cathedrals in mid-air. One, two, ships to cry.